So welcome back everybody, I'm with Ben Hawkins again and we're going to be checking out his personal ship. This is the Excalibur. Um, absolutely beautiful lines. I'm going to see if I can go a little bit slower. It's a bit like the Hero where it has a very nice wedging wedging style down the side here. So I have to go really slow if I want to show it off. So as you can see it's got a stage pattern that's coming in and out and up and down. It's using pentas and tetras along with side wedges. Um, I can't see any corner blocks in there. No, I didn't use any of the corner blocks as much. There you are don't... a few in there, but they're not uh, as noticeable as they are on your hero. Yeah, you got lovely hanger as well. The uh, not the hanger, the airlock. I love the hat, the airlock there. Oh yeah, I've got two airlocks and two hanger bays. Just the whole style in general is really nice and smooth. Like the pattern that's being Fun. used for the wings. And the fins in front of the intakes, that's a really nice concept. Yeah. That's really nice. Wow, Tom, I don't know if you've gotten to the gondola underneath. Not but, yet. Uh, I'm getting there. Incredible. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. I, I, I'm trying to come around the side here. Got an interesting little pattern around the back there, that's very nice. Nice turrets, legit turrets with muzzle flashes. I'm still there. enthralled by this, uh, the engine. this room. The engines are outstanding. Oh, are you talking about the uh, the, the observation deck? On the yeah, floor? we're going to do an auction there, believe me. <laughs> so where's the inspiration for this vessel taken? It is actually taken from a uh, concept uh, ship from a fan-made Stargate ship called the X-307. I can't remember the name of the guy that designed it, but I basically took the concept, built the, uh, the ship in um, in uh, Blender, and then uh, imported it in using SMEdit. Oh, well and I done! Just built it from there. So it's an original ship. However, it is a SMEdit as well because yes. you created the 3D model yourself. And this yep. is exactly the sort of thing I was wanting ever since the very first Smedit ship. I always wanted to, you know, see that. I wanted to see that. I wanted to review Smedit ships by the model author. So it's what I would call the most legit form of Smedit there is, if you're talking about model conversion. So yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. Reminds Do you want to see the inside the, now? Uh, wave yeah, a little bit. Nice turrets as well. It reminds me a lot of a cross between the Daedalus and the Destiny. Yeah, I, see, I was thinking that, that with a hint of Normandy. Yes, definitely a hint of Normandy in there. But I love the... Oh, yeah, uh, it does have a little bit of that in there too. Very Stargate. I was going to say it, but I wanted you to tell everyone yourself. So we've got... That is a hell of a med bay. That's a nice oh, hanger. Cool. This hanger is really nice so I just did a, a stream on hangers last night and actually this is a very nice style I love it I'm particularly interested in how uh, how you get in all right so there are two hanger bay well it's actually four four airlocks two on each side um, and then there's a small hanger bay for my mobilis thrown underneath and then there's a big hanger bay on the back um, uh, oh wow, it's usually... asymmetrical as well. Look, you got a hangar door on one side. Yeah. Hang on. Oh no, I'm just further down. No, <laughs> my bad. Oh, corridor. Are you looking at it in build mode? I am. Oh, I see your tr your throne just uh, just docked. <laughs> nice yep. throne, by the way. Thank you. If you just follow me, I'll take you yep. to the observation deck. Yep, following. Ooh, I've made my way to the bridge. Bridge is one of my favorite parts too. Here is the observation deck. <laughs> Very nice. I uh, went into a lot of detail with this, but this is one of, fav one of my favorite spots. I even got a big screen TV. Multi-layered interior in here I think is what really sells this to me. Oh yeah. Just absolutely gorgeous. And the uh, computers in here, I feel like uh, that's where they would actually be in a practical 
real situation. Yeah, I try to I try to keep pra practicality um, in my ships. I had a thing I used to like trying to think about um, uh, if this was a real ship, you know, what, how would it have been built and stuff like that. What did you get? Rare breed. Oh, I just went upstairs. Oh, I see. No, I see. I caught up with you. <laughs> up this way is the, uh, the the med bay. This is a quality med bay. You know, I yeah, I agree. I built this med bay after the uh, the update went live, and I just oh, I I was excited about the the new mesh and new uh, the uh, the new blocks and I was like hey I'm gonna make curtains for <laughs> uh, curtains I like and that the, touch and the new med the new med blocks I just I just fell in love with them I was like ah oh, this is so cool yeah I have to say it's one of my favorites so where to next buddy all right uh, let's go back out this way we'll end up going into un unfinished area but I want to show you the bridge so Over here, and these two ramps right here go up into the bridge. This right here is the bridge. <laughs> nice. Got myself a little captain's chair right here. Oop. Someone's parked their desk on your uh, in front of the view screen. <laughs> Very nice. Right, well, what was the name of the ship again? This ship is named the Excalibur. The Excalibur. Okay, well, thanks very much for uh, letting us take a look at it, bud. Yeah. Some really great pieces of detail on here. Is this finished? Uh, no, it is not finished yet. I still have a lot of interior work and a lot of uh, the um, uh, mechanical parts that still need to be uh, optimized. But besides that, it's pretty close to being done. Well, you've been drafted uh, as an auction host. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice. It's very nice indeed. So thanks, everybody, for watching once again. And I will see you all next time.